My dear students, welcome to your English language and literature course for grade seven. Uh, in this um, video, we're going to talk about week 10, unit four, week 10, that extends from May 12th till May 16th. We're going to start this week with your summative rubrics. In this day, we're going to discuss recognize your summative rubrics. Our word wall is going to include summative criteria, criterion, writing, speech, environment, organizing, using language, and producing text. You're going to watch a, uh, a tutorial about how to write a winning speech, and you're going to review the TSR uh, in assigned groups and write down the key terms in each of the criteria. Sorry, in each of the criteria. Uh, then we're going to watch a video a tutorial about figurative language, and then we're going to have an interactive activity related to that. A further practice and a challenging question uh, when you follow the link. You will have a self-assessment, and I would like you to write five sentences using different literary devices in your what to do tomorrow uh, task. For lesson two, we're going to start. Uh, Two and three, you're going to start your summative. You're going to write a speech. Our word wall is going to include ecosystem, conservation, deforestation, pollution, sustainability, climate change, renewable energy, endangered species, greenhouse gases, environmental impact, and urbanization. You're going to watch a video about how to write a speech, and you're going to write your speech individually. <laughs> then you're going to watch a video about creativity and writing. And you're going to revise your work and add literary devices and figurative language to your writing, a further practice, challenging questions through a link, a self-assessment, and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to start evaluating your writing. For lessons for an project, which is a video narrative, in this, uh, um, in this project, you're going to generate a video narrative, which is storytelling that utilizes this video footage audio and sometimes text to convey a narrative or a story. It can be uh, it can be used in various mediums such as film, documentaries, advertisements, or even online content. Video narratives often incorporate elements such as characters, plot development, setting, conflict, and resolution to engage the audience and convey a message to evoke certain emotions. You're going to use ethos, pathos, and logos in this. All the persuasive techniques that we talked about, you're going to use it in your video storytelling. You're going to choose a specific theme to generate a story. After that, you're going to uh, conduct a research on your uh, chosen theme and develop a compelling scenario. You can work individually in a pair or in a group of three, uh, but not more. Your video is going to be from uh, two to four minutes. Um, minutes long and it needs to include an introduction your story you know the climax uh, pictures music you're going to present your narratives in a video uploaded on youtube um the due date is may 20th and um you're going to have what is the short story what's the structure of it the rubric uh how you're going to be assessed uh on your video I gave you uh, examples of uh, climax, ex examples of stories, so that you can start uh, drafting your own story and making it uh, in the class. I can't wait to start this fruitful week with you guys. All the love and respect. Uh, peace out.